The government of Anambra State has declared a state of emergency on traffic hold-up across the state. Government has correspondent G. Kabana reports that the Commissioner for Information Support wants to state this during the post-Anambra State Executive Council briefing held at the government house in Oka. We bring you the details. Commissioner Wosu stressed that new road traffic management measures have been introduced to ensure that Ndianambra don't spend much time in traffic. The commissioner who said that Anambra Traffic Management Agency was directed to deploy their officers in 20 most difficult areas in the state and disclosed that Governor Saludo also directed ADMA personnel should be trained by Lagos State Traffic Management Agency, LASMA, Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC and the Army, as well as recruit more people into the agency for increased capacity and efficiency. Commissioner Wosu also announced that the state fire service will be restructured to become more responsive and effective, adding that it will be decentralized and brought closer to the people while the Alhambra State Emergency Fire Response application has been activated, while stating that it was also approved that all the traffic lights will be serviced. He added that the Commissioner for Local Government was directed to identify areas in the communities that can be used as bus stops and stated that necessary measures are on to check reckless and one-way driving as well as ensure adequate enforcement of traffic laws. Governor Charles Chukuma Soludo has declared a state of emergency on traffic holdups in Anambra State. To this end, he has directed ATMA to ensure that India Nambra will not spend more than 20 minutes in traffic holdups anywhere in Anambra State. And for this, uh, to realize this objective too, ATMA should immediately deploy their men to 20, 20 most difficult and menacing traffic areas in this state. According to the Commissioner, among other issues discussed at the meeting were adoption of the name Anambra State Executive Council as against Executive Council, adoption of a policy to introduce urban agriculture to increase food production in Anambra State where every household deploys species in their domain to plant agricultural produce, transition from inorganic farming to regenerative agriculture to improve quality of agricultural produce. He said the council also discussed ongoing rehabilitation work on Anambra roads, the revision of laws setting up government parastatals and agencies in the state, approval for annual procurement of 1 million palm seedlings and 500 coconut seedlings as a way of trying to restore the old M.I. Obara days when palm oil was the mainstay of the economy. The Attorney General has been asked to revise some of our laws and the commissioners, members of ANSEC too, have been directed to look at the laws setting up some of the agencies and uh, parastatals under their ministry because some of these laws are actually archaic, you know, they don't, they don't respond, they are not in tune with the current demands of our time. The Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Mr. Christian Aburime, was also present at the briefing. From the Government House, Oka, EGK Abana, ABS News.